campaigns make final push. Before polls close on Tuesday evening, political campaigns will send out flocks of volunteers and staffers to shake loose every last voter. On Saturday morning, 72 hours before polling place open, Dan LeClaire of Manchester and Blaine Hansen of Goffstown listened to Senator Jean Shaheen and Rep. Chris Pappas and Annie Custer speak at the Carpenters Union Training Center in Manchester before they grabbed a stack of flyers and hit the doors. LeClaire and Hansen, both union carpenters, said they always volunteer on political campaigns. Being involved in politics feel like an important part of being in the union, LeClaire said, adding he's spent months working on Democrat campaigns this year. We usually do our best to work with our brothers and sisters, LeClaire said. Help them out. Support the people who support us, he said. But LeClaire said not all Carpenter Union members support Democrats. We do have folks who back the president, he said. Some you can have a conversation with, Hansen said, but some have made up their minds, which he said is okay. We're not going to start fights, he said. We give them all the information we can, but we're not strong arming anybody. Leclerc said anybody he hoped he could make a difference this weekend by giving more voters information that could help them vote. It's my future. It's everybody else's future, like Lair said. For the young guys to guys getting ready to retire, when volunteering, the campaign staffers call voters or knock on their doors this weekend. They're likely trying to persuade people who don't often vote to get to the polls. Greg Moore, State Director of Libertarian Advocacy Group Americans for Prosperity knocked doors in Manchester's North End on Saturday morning, trying to persuade Republican-leaning voters to turn out for Governor Chris Sununu. We're not going against Dan Phelps, Moore said, referring to the Democrat candidate for governor. We're up against the couch. This year, Moore said, the couch is losing even the subset of infrequent voters. Moore and many other volunteers targeted over the weekend seem to be interested in the 2020 race. I've gone days without talking to someone who's not planning on voting. Moore said he, as he walked between houses on Erhard Street, voters are excited, he said, and campaign staff and volunteers are too. This is crunch time. This is go time. This is the last chance. And that does it for this news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this news report on the Riley King Network. Goodbye, everyone.